Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. In today's video, I wanna do a brief update on the Rogue Weight Tree and adding barbell storage to it. You might recall a couple of weeks ago, I did an initial video of this and I got a lot of questions from people saying, hey, can you add barbell storage to it? And barbell storage on a weight tree could be a potentially great idea for you. It kills two birds with one stone. It holds your weights, it holds your bars, and it does so in a very minimal footprint, which for any home gym, footprint is huge. Well, maybe it's not huge and that's why you wanna save as much footprint as you can so you can add more stuff to it. Uh, but it's a great way to add a bar or two without having to invest in like a vertical weight tree holder like I have here or a gun rack that you have to mount on the wall somewhere. This could be a good option for someone with not a lot of barbells, but they wanna add one or two to their repertoire and not keep it on the rack at all times. So what I did is I added the Rogue Monster Light slash Infinity horizontal barbell holder. It retails for 51 bucks, so it's not cheap, but it does a fantastic job adding on here. In fact, you could actually add up to four, I believe, on here, maybe even more if you get pretty creative with the bolts and whatnot. And in the box, you get bolts for both the Monster Light line, which are a three by three rack, and the Infinity line, which are a two by three rack. And since the bottom feet here are two by two, those Infinity ones fit just perfect. As you can see, the bolts work out really, really well here. And you have some maneuverability in, in where you put it and expandability in the fact that you can add up to four different ones. So if you're adding a couple bars here and there, this could be a, a good way to go. Now, even though this thing is super simple to install, it's very basic, it works out really well, and it's separated enough from the rack where you can even add specialty bars like a safety squat bar, which I couldn't do on my Titan version because of where the actual barbell storage was located, I still wouldn't recommend it for most people, and that's because the price point of this starts to get really expensive, especially as you start to get even into the excessive barbell holder. So as is, the weight tree is expensive. It's like 190 bucks. I mentioned already the barbell holder is $51. So even for just one, you're looking at roughly like $240 before shipping and tax. Add shipping and tax into that, you're probably closer to the $300 range. And then as you're adding $50 each per barbell holder, if you put four on here, you're looking probably towards $450 to $500 for this thing, which number one is expensive. And number two, you could get a competitor's version for probably a quarter of the price. And it's going to be just as functional, if not more in some circumstances. And I'll cover some of those things later on when I eventually do a full on review of this weight tree. So the time I would recommend this for people is if you already own the weight tree as is, you're already committed to the price of this, that 190 price to play is already gone and you're just looking to add a bar or two, 50 bucks a pop isn't too bad. Now that $50 does turn into around 70 for me with shipping and tax included. But again, if you just wanna add one on here, it's a lot cheaper than maybe buying an alternate route of having the vertical plate storage or the gun rack that you're gonna to have to mount on a wall somewhere. And again, it's expandable where you can add to them over time. I also talked to someone on Instagram who mentioned they bought two of them and they're planning on making a makeshift push sled with this by putting maybe some PVC piping in there when they lower the weights on here and being able to push this around since it's on wheels. So you do get some ingenuity that way if you really wanna get creative with it, which you might not have in other racks. But I wouldn't recommend it for someone who's just looking for a weight tree with barbell storage, because again, if you're going to just get the basic setup, it's probably gonna be around $300 and you can get something that's similar for a third of that price, no problem assuming stocks back to normal at some point. So even though it's a good solution and it has some benefits over some of the competition out there, I still don't think I could recommend it for most, but if you already own this weight tree and you're looking to expand your barbells and you wanna add one on here, or again, get creative and make some sleds or some other unique things, this could potentially be a good route for you to go. If you have other questions that I wasn't able to answer in this video, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.